Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading for March 7th to the 14th. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new here, hey, how's it going? If you're returning a massive thank you to you. As always, I hope you click subscribe and become a part of our community. All right, let's see what's going on for you. Let's see, Cancer. I feel very dreamy as I'm talking to you. I don't know if you've been writing your manifestations, if you've been dreaming about like what it is that you want your life to look like. All right, let's see. My cards are taking a long time to come out. You know what? I feel like you're very much in your mind, in your head right now. Can I get seven cards for cancer? Who are you thinking about there, buds? The Empress? Ho, ho, someone's got love on the brain. All right, let's see. Uh, five more cards, please. Ooh, is someone in love or in lust? <laughs> mm. Yay! Okay, let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Five more cards. No, four more cards, please. That's why. That's why I was. Uh, you were dreamy. Oh, somebody I love. Mm. Or do you want to give an offer to somebody for five? I just need two more, please. Huh. Six. Seven. I want to daydream with you, okay? The Piscean and me wants to be like, all right, let's hang out here and disassociate. That sounds lovely. Um, also, because this feels so dreamy, like so dreamy. And your girl loves dreaminess. Like, you know, like, hold on right like just the like look at me look at all this love you know <laughs> that's what i'm feeling anyways let me know if that's resonating in the comment section uh below let's get your uh like even the tempers in the star a dream is a wish your heart makes mm -hmm. somebody's dreaming somebody's doing little wishes up to the stars up to the skies okay let's see <laughs> Sorry, I love when the cards come out. Okay, bye. I love when <laughs> I love when the cards just confirm what I'm seeing because I I just find it hilarious. I don't know. I don't know. I'm in a goofy mood. Um. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Hold on. One more. One mantra card, please. Hmm. So you got freedom as your mantra card and it says, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And baby, that's what you're doing here, baby girl. All right, and that's what you're doing here. Um, but I just said baby girl, cause if you know, you know, but this is gender neutral, all right? Um, temperance and the star at the bottom. Like, can I please tell you, just manifest, just manifest right now. Don't attach um, physically to what you desire. Like, don't say it has to be this person. Um, attach, don't actually don't attach, period. But script or write down the type of partner that you want. Do you want a partner who can joke around with you? Do you want a partner who you can go and laugh with? Do you want a partner who will journal with you, who will talk about the stars with you? Do you want a partner who's artistic? Do you want a partner who's creative? Like, do you want a partner who's gonna go to the gym with you? What kind of partner do you want cancer, okay? Get so specific on that and start writing from that place, all right? And then it'll come to fruition, okay? Because it will, it's like right here, all right? Um, yeah, so I was hysterically laughing being my dramatic self because um, Jupiter, expansion abundance luck and today we have the sun and jupiter so it's a beautiful day to manifest okay um sorry the sun conjunct is the sun is it oh my god jupiter conjunct the sun is it i think so um and then we have libra house of partnerships seventh house romantic romance love marriage contracts all right commitment and then sacred union as the juno card um as the astrology asteroid card uh, these three came out and i or one came out the two were at the bottom of the deck i needed to show them all to you i'm excited for you okay so we start off the week with you thinking about romance love luxury the things that feel very beautiful to you okay the things that feel very like um attractive okay 
very connected, very magnetic, um, uh, very sensual also, okay? The pleasure in life, the uh, things that just feel very good in life, all right? And that's what you're you're starting off this week with. Maybe you're having a little bit of a staycation, vacation, or maybe you're just being more luxurious in your life, taking it slower, right? Uh, Taurus and, and Venetian energy uh, seeks pleasure, sensuality. Then we come into you. So you're showing up in the reading, which tells me that you're very much in your power. You're in your strength. You're looking very fine also, okay? You're very confident. You might be by water because there's water right here. You might be hanging out, having a cocktail, having a drink, or just really, um, again, being very emotionally confident and very emotionally balanced in the way that you are pursuing that which you desire, okay? In the way that you are pursuing um, the things that bring you joy, that bring you happiness. It's also interesting, too, because these two cards are looking at this Ace of Pentacles. So if I think that you, if I look at this card and I see that you start off with the Empress, then you step into your more masculine form, right? And then in the more masculine, emotionally mature form of the King of Cups, you start looking at this new opportunity. Well, what's this new opportunity look like for you? It's solid, it's abundant, it's happy, it's rooted, it's stable, but I feel like I feel like this is where um, a little bit of planning needs to come in place because you have the Knight of Pentacles beside it. So you're ready to give this offer, but then you're like, oh, how am I going to do this? What am I going to say? How am I going to approach the situation? Like da, 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 all that stuff, right? You're, you're having all those conversations around how, who, what, when, where, why, that kind of stuff. And I think in doing so, um, you're going to be able to get a little bit more specific in the way that you're going to... Um, you're going to um, express and share the information with the ace of pentacles and the knight of pentacles i think this is about you maybe not hesitating like if you're into somebody cancer i would say that this is the week that maybe you just kind of say hey i'm into you hi hi hi, hi. <laughs> right i'm into you i think you're cute yada yada want to go on a date blah 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 um why because i i just see here that like you start off on this high and then you have this pivot, this moment. Um, actually, where is mine? I'm going to check what the astrology is. Hold on a minute. What did I say? We're on the 7th to the 14th. Okay, let me go. 7th to the 14th. Um, seventh to the 14th. Mercury enters Pisces. Okay, so maybe you start getting a little bit delusional or maybe like... Um, you're, you're up in your mind, uh, the like illusions. Yeah, and the sun conjunct Neptune around and like how you're gonna communicate. Maybe you start like getting a little bit flustered in your mind. How am I gonna say this to this person? How am I gonna communicate it to them? That kind of stuff. Then we have uh, Venus sextile Chiron. Maybe there's some wounds that you gotta heal. Um, and then we have the sun sextile Pluto. Um, there's that big, like pulling the trigger. And fascinatingly enough, there we got the death card. This is Pluto right here, right? Towards the latter half of your reading. Um, I know this is only till what did I say for uh, seventh to the fourteenth, but this is a little bit later into um, into the into the week on the eighteenth. But maybe there is that energy here where you're like, I'm not really sure. How am I supposed to do this? What am I supposed to say? That, you know that kind of energy, okay? So I would really just trust in your intuition and the way that you are going to express yourself to help you, okay? Because I think that this is divinely guided. I think the universe is transforming your life now so that you can welcome a partner into your life. I do. I really, really do. All right. Let's get into your love reading. Um, Cancer, if you want to use crystals to help you manifest these things into your life, crystals I would recommend. Garnet, Carnelian, Red Tiger Eye. Um, what else would I recommend? Uh, rose quartz for manifestation of the heart. Uh, if you want to shop over at Cersei Jewels, my jewelry line, you can do that in the description box below. Some of the pieces, um, if you're more feminine identifying or like more feminine pieces, I would say things like Venus, things like Aphrodite. Okay, this is Venus right here. All right, it's got Morganite Barrel and Rose Quartz and Aphrodite is this one right here. It's got this beautiful, beautiful um, piece of Amazonite and Rose Quartz. All right, and if you're more masculine, I don't have it here, but there's one called Emperor uh, that I would recommend. Okay, let's get into your love reading one sec. Forgiving and learning. Okay, let me see. Can I, I want you to see this. I'm just going to move up here for a minute. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. 
retreat, it's time for you to disconnect from the world. I think that's showing up here in that Four of Swords as well, right? So you don't get anti-pansy. Because I truly feel like this connection is destined for you and designed for you. I think it's your own mind that's limiting it. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I also, I, I think one of you is a boy that's watching this, a man, all right? And I think you, you're you wondering like, oh, I'm not really sure how to, how to say this to this girl, da, 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 da. I only enter her, yada, yada. Just, just do it, man. Just do it. Get out of your little crab shell, okay? Just do it. Um, all right, let's see. Um, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is walking away from past pain, past suffering. Maybe in the past you had a relationship that went awry or didn't work out. Let go of that, okay? So you can make space for this. It's right. The cards are sharing this beautiful love story. So don't hold yourself back from the love that you desire and deserve because of something that happened in the past. Engagement fell or Emperor fell under engagement. So I'm going to leave it there. It could be an Aries that you into. It could be a Scorpio. It could be a Taurus. It could be a, um, a Libra as well. We got a lot of Libra energy here with the Venus and the Libra card. With the Emperor and the engagement here, I feel like it's a masculine that has to take the lead. The masculine has to, to finally like, you know, yeah, just, just get out there and do it. You're also ripped. Jesus Christ. I'm being snoopy. I'm like, hmm, oh my God. That's nice. Very good. Very good physique. Very good. All right. Let's see what's going on with the retreat. The chariot. Oh my God. You're showing up in your reading so much, Cancer. Judgment. Temperance showing up again. It could be a Sagittarius that you're into. All right. Um, listen. Take that little staycation, take that little time away this week to really reflect and sit down with what's holding you back from making this proposal or offering this person your heart or being vulnerable, okay? Because I think that there's this beautiful opportunity to create something very magical with somebody. All right, Cancer, if you want to shop at Star Sea Jewels, take a look at the description box below. If you want to enroll in any of my courses or sign up to my mailing list, also in the description box below. I have a tarot intensive going on at the end of March. There's only four spots left. So sign up to learn how to become a professional tarot reader use your psychic abilities and use the tarot to help yourself and help others see you later alligator peace out bye